A lot of violists make the mistake of thinking that sound comes from weight or force in the right arm. Where it really comes from is balance. And just like a great dancer, you gotta know where your dance floor is. So in our case, it's the viola. It's the exact point at any given time where my bow meets the string, wherever that is. The rest of my body is reacting to that point. So your decisions don't come from the air over here, they come from the string. If you imagine a dancer dancing on a floor that's on a slope, it's probably not gonna be very successful. So my first piece of advice is know your dance floor. Everything that's happening is happening here. The nature of balance is that it requires two parts, a force and an opposing force. If those two do not equal 100%, you will not have balance. And so I think it's a dangerous trap to fall into the pattern of always picking up the bow and the viola and assuming that everything we do comes from this direction. Actually, to have opposing force, we need balance between both directions. So I strongly suggest, think about the force that comes from below. When I'm making sound, I am supporting the bow and, and the viola just as much from my lower body as I am using the weight of my arm from above, sometimes even more. And I can show you the difference between the two. If I play the opening of Harold Italy, using any of my lower body, only the weight of my arm. It's not bad, but now I'm going to show you the other way. I'm using my abdominal muscles, I'm using my legs, and I'm actively using my torso to support the viola from below. So therefore, we have equilibrium of forces. Try it.